Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigolos and gigolettes. It's me, Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty. We're going to do a week, a weekly earnings update for my entire week running gigs. Why am I getting notifications? Hold on one second. Okay, let's read it. Never mind. Nothing important. Um. All right, so this week, according to my log, I managed to work less than 50 hours, which is cool. And I drove less than 100 miles per day, which is also cool. Um, the most I drove this week was, I didn't follow the exact decimal point on Friday or today, but 92 miles was the most I drove. So that means if we average to $2.30, that means the most I spent on fuel this week was 920 plus 115. The most I spent on fuel this week was $10. Yeah! <laughs> Keeping those expenses low. Um, and my longest day was Friday, which was 10 hours. So every other day was under double digits. My shortest day was Saturday, had plans, uh, had one job and that was it. Only took two and a half hours or that was, uh, I had to do the job and I went to my parents. So it was literally away from home for two and a half hours. Um, and I only had to drove 51 miles that day. So, all right, let's get into it. Monday, 74 miles, five and a half hours, $155. The question is, was the other, was that instant offers? I'm recording on this phone. I don't think I did anything. I literally think I made 28 bucks on Lyft this week. So bear with me. One second, guys. Nope. Okay, so the rest must have been Lyft. Okay, so Monday I had a job at 10 a.m. Left my house at 9.30 um, it was moving a couple dressers from inside of a house to the garage, took 15 minutes and mm -hmm. got a $25 cash tip. So, and then I had another job that involved moving a couch in, um, that was in the Ukrainian village. I remember. So I got there. That was an easy job too. And I remember I asked the guy, it, it was literally brand new, good looking furniture. And I asked him, like, are you throwing this out? And he's like, yeah, we got a new couch coming today. And then I fucking kind of like, he must have sensed that I kind of felt like, I, I, I came, I, you know, I grew up on the poor side. Like, this was good looking furniture. Like, I can't think of why you would just throw out good looking furniture. Uh, and he said, you could take it if you want. And I said, I don't have a truck. And I remember I actually, after the job, I went back to try to, um, like, squeeze the furniture into my trunk. And I couldn't do it, which was a shame because I'm like, I could have fucking given that to someone. I could have tried to sell it. Uh, that was good looking furniture that this guy was throwing out completely just bye bye gone. Right. So, yeah. And then I think I ran lift for a little bit and ate the miles home Tuesday. How how did I make so much money on Tuesday? Let's let's take a look here. So that was the. OK. OK. Yeah, I remember now. All right, so I did $48, uh, one job first thing in the morning. That was like nine, I think it was 9 a.m., yeah. And funny enough, I remember as I was driving towards that task, I got a 10-stop instant offer from the Whole Foods in Schaumburg, which that would have been like 100 bucks. So I'm like, why can't I get that thing at 7.15, right? So yeah. So I did that job. I think I did an instant offer for Amazon. Let me double check. Let me go to my earnings. That was Tuesday. Yeah. I got two instant offers on Tuesday between tasks. One for $28 and one for $89.50. Uh, so literally three hours of instant offers and then I made my way to my last, to the task that day. And that was three and a half hours. It was actually four, but I only built him three and a half. He was cool. Um, and he gave me $4 cash tip. 
So that was Tuesday, um, $373. Wednesday, 69 miles, seven and three quarters of an hour, $152.05. That was a lazy day because, like, I don't want to get too into detail on this, but that client uh, almost started crying during the job. She told us she was in an abusive relationship. And I thought we were trying to get all of her stuff out before the abusive uh, partner showed up. Uh, turns out that she was just having us unload all his shit. So there was a lot of steps involved. And she paid us two hours for that one. And then I remember I sat around. I did. I had lift on. I lift economy on for an hour and 15 minutes. Not one ping. I managed to get one Lux ping with a tip. And that was 20 bucks. And then I got one instant offer for the rest. I think it was like, I think that was 32 bucks or something or 34. And yeah, but that was a short day. I remember I was home by 1.30 because had some business to take care of. And I'll show you that business right now. Come here, little guy. Ugh. Me and the girlfriend decided we were going to get another puppy. So... Welcome the newest addition to the channel. This is Waffle. He is such a little sweetheart. He's so cute, right, little guy? He's sweepy right now. Okay, why don't you go back down? Lay back down. Yeah. And in case you guys didn't notice, Pancake is sitting next to me. She's been tired too. Uh, these two did not get along the first day and a half there together, but now there's thick. Now there's thick as thieves. All right, Thursday. What happened on Thursday? 73 miles, 6.25 hours, 196 bucks. All right. So that was... No. Yeah. Okay. Heavy lifting in Vernon Hills. What the fuck was that? Oh, I remember now. Okay. So Thursday, I didn't have, I only had, um, I had two tasks booked, but they were both in the afternoon. I had nothing else going on. And then around nine o'clock, one of my, uh, one of the members of my group chat texted me and he said, or he, he, he tagged me or something and he said he needs help with something. It was a fire pit going up to the roof of a garage. And he said, there's no way to do it. So I need help. So I told him, I'm like, that's at least a three-man job. Let me call some people. I called some people. I called Spicy Bear and Bam. And then the guy that hired, or the guy that contacted me for the job, we uh, we went over there and then we got the, uh, it took some doing, but we got it. We got, we got the thing up to the roof. Uh, the person paid us each a hundred bucks in cash. So that was cool. Why do I not remember that job? Heavy lifting in Vernon Hills. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so um, this lady needed help. She got a Wayfair couch that she said the legs didn't attach properly, so they sent her a brand new Wayfair couch, still in a box. So it was me and our tasker. Uh, first, we moved the box to the upstairs, which was no small feat. Took a while. To, that was the hardest part of the job. And then we moved the original Wayfair box into another room and she's and she asked, could you try to get the legs on? So we did, and the legs actually went on. So I just need a little bit of a little bit of muscle to get it in there. And then we unwrapped the couch, put it the new one from the box, placed it, put the legs on that one, and then moved the recliner out. Whole job took 35 minutes. And then I had another job not too far from there that was helping a couple move in. Uh, the lightest furniture I've had to handle so far is a tasker. Um, that took 35, 40 minutes and I got paid and got the fuck out of there. All right. Friday, uh, Friday I had, um, I think it was all task rabbit if I remember correctly. Yeah. So I had an IKEA uh, assembly job at 8 45 AM. It was originally booked for nine 30 and I asked the guy, I'm like, Hey, I got a job at noon. Um, I want to make sure there's enough time between, uh, you know, I will leave myself enough time to get there. So can I get there at 845? He said, yeah, that's fine. So I got there. Uh, it was an IKEA sofa bed. It took 
two, almost exactly two hours. Built it, that's when I was sweating up a storm. And then I had to eat miles into the city, go to, U, go to Home Depot, rent a U-Haul truck, and then um, I rented the U-Haul truck, drove it to a apartment in Streeterville, got a couch, delivered it, dropped off the couch, took the truck back, whole thing took uh, two hours, yeah. But that was actually, I hope I didn't count the tip on that, no, the expenses, yeah. Because you guys can see there, that's forty three ninety five in expenses, which I'm not counting towards my earnings because that's not what I get to take home. So, and then my last job was a one and a half hour uh, Wayfair sofa bed assembly, which like I said, this was the Wayfair version of the Ikea sofa bed I put it together earlier that day. So, yeah. And that was $243 for 10 hours and 92 miles. Saturday was the one moving job. Uh, that one was, I was sweating up a storm on that one too. It was a lot of steps. Um, this one guy, I mean, very organized. He had everything in boxes and totes, but it still took some doing to move around. And that was $124.24 for two and a half hours and 51 miles. And then today on Sunday, busy day. Uh, my first job was only supposed to take two hours, but then the client asked me to disassemble her furniture in her apartment and then reassemble it in her new apartment. So that turned into four, four hours with a tip, came out to 214 bucks. And then I had to go up north. I got two same day jobs, both of them not that far away from each other. And both of them required my appliance dolly. So I drove home after my first test to get my appliance dolly, went up north, had to move a fridge from inside a house to a garage, took 15 minutes, got a tip on that, so 56.47, and then uh, recorded my video about McLovin being a fraud between tasks, and then I went to another task, which was moving a vanity from a garage to the second floor bathroom, called one of my helpers out, we did, took, uh, obviously with the appliance dolly, it was still some doing, those things are fucking heavy. Um, and uh, yeah, that took 30 minutes. So yeah, today was only, today was only a eight and a half hour day, 90 miles, $332 and 40, $333.47. And according to this, you know, I'm gonna do the math really quick on what I, what I started my miles with, or how I count the miles on the tracker. So let's see here. 74, what, no, why am I calling someone? God, I'm a fucking idiot. 74 plus 72 plus, 69, 69, dude, uh, plus 73, plus 92, plus 51, plus 92. So on my calculator app, since I don't add the decimal points on the Mali tracker, they came out to 523, but on my odometer, came out to 525.2. So I'm pretty much right on the money there. Um, which is cool, I'll take that. Uh, so 1578.23, 1578.23 divided by 49.5 is $31.88 an hour. Um, and I obviously you guys can do math. I did over I did over three dollars an hour or three dollars per mile So I think that's three weeks in a row. I'm either right there or above it and If we take off let's see times 0.3 so minus 956 Minus 9.56 so my net today if we take off 30% which like I said I don't even know what my expenses are right now my net is 22 bucks an hour so boom 
So wait, what was my net? Oh, you guys can fucking do the math right, United. It's all right. Yeah, that's all I got for this one, guys. Uh, not a bad week. Um, I bought my I I built my inversion table last week, and I've been using it every few days to kind of help my lower back. So that's cool. So yeah. All right. That's all I got for this one. I want to thank y'all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.